I was not expecting to come back here and work. I went off to college and I was never coming out. Um, but I'm really glad I am because it's a really rewarding job as far as being in your hometown and being able to affect some change like this. Um, so I started in 2010 and the organization started in 2009, so they had somebody right before me. Um, and the, the original board of directors, which are all volunteers, really was just some sort of business downtown. They had to do a lot of fundraising to hire their first director, and that was kind of in the 2008 range. So um, we don't have any specific plans to hire more people because it's meant to be really a volunteer heavy organization. Um, yeah, I've been here almost five years now, and it's been challenging, rewarding. A highlight was definitely in 2011 when we um, fundraised for the mural that's on 513 Main Street. It's that historic mural that has kind of three different panels of, of Main Street through the ages. So, and I don't know if you remember what used to be there, but it was this huge eagle, this angry eagle, staring down at you <laughs> onto Main Street. Do you remember this at all? Um, so, not a very welcoming sight. It needed improvement. And not a lot had happened, not a lot of visual things had happened yet downtown in 2011. So we had this huge fundraising campaign. We raised $10,000 for a professional artist to do that mural. Um, and it was very impactful. I think whenever it's the first big thing like that, it turns a lot of people's heads. And it was also a pretty um, good community art project, simply in the sense that it was about local scenes, so we used historical images from three different eras. And then when the artist was there for two weeks painting this, he had a lot of people come up to him during the process and share their story. So there are some cool little elements to it, like the couple, um, the like life-size people that are in that mural. Um, they are modeled after a photo that a guy who was working at what was then Jazzy's um, brought in of his grandparents. So the artists actually used their faces and, and then there are a few other people in the mural that are connected to the community in some way. Like the guy who owns the diamond shop is one of the little guys in the mural and some of the signage references old businesses that were actually on Main Street. So um, it was all around a really big project for us. We were like two years old as an organization then, so raising 10 grand was a lot. Um, and it still would be a lot. Um, but first real big thing that happened downtown in a long time, um, so that was absolutely a highlight. I think there's definitely a connection between improve. I kind of use streetscape as a blanket term for um, kind of any improvements in the public area, so like sidewalks specifically, I guess. Um, and that can include trees and bike racks and all that kind of stuff. So um, I would say there's definitely a connection between improving streetscape and community pride and buy-in. Um, we've actually started doing a little monthly cleanup day. We do an event called Refresh every April, and we've had like 60, 70 people come out for that, and it's basically just planting flowers and weeding and picking up trash. People really have gotten excited about that, so we started doing it once a month, just a smaller cleanup day. Um, you know, we want downtown to be beautiful all of the time. Um, I definitely see people who just take their regular walks and will bring like some gloves and a trash bag with them, which I absolutely love to see that, because they're just taking the initiative to clean up their area. So. I think there's definitely a connection. We still have some litter problems downtown, but I think it's a lot harder to throw your pop can in the bushes if somebody's obviously taken a lot of time to, you know, plant flowers there and if there's a new bike rack and if there's a piano next door, you know. I think I rambled enough during your questions. <laughs>